things we talked about uh, yesterday was um, you were looking for a better effort uh, defensively. You said you, you guys usually score enough points to win games. Looking for a better effort defensively. Um, what do you think of your defensive effort, given that you held the league's top offense 15 points below their average, 38% from the field? It just seemed like a more kind of complete defensive effort for you guys. Yeah, it, it's what we need to do to win. And there's no secret. You know, it, if we can hold teams, we held them to 37%. Um, if we can consistently do that, then we're going to be really good. And there's no other way about it. We got some players that can score. We usually put up, you know, decent amount enough to to win games. And that's the challenge for us is to consistently be able to do that. That's going to be our challenge again tomorrow night. And if we can, then we have a chance to be really successful and and get on a run. But it's really just that, um, you know, Taylor Purdy was great offensive player and she is a great offensive player to you know she hit us for 21 we shorted up a little bit after halftime she got eight and you know mm-hmm. we, we can obviously live live with that but good good effort um, it, it's as a coach you're really happy to see things that mm-hmm. hopefully you know you work on come to fruition and I'm just hoping that you know we continue on that track and for you guys, um, obviously Purdy had what she did in the first half, but how important was it for you guys to kind of choke her off there in the in the second half? She shot two of nine from the field in the second half and 26% from the field for the game. I mean, she got her 29, but she really had to put up a lot uh, to do it. I mean, we knew coming in that she's one of the best offensive players in the league, and her to come and put up 21, I think we realized that we really needed to lock down on her and got it done. We had a lot of help, and I think mm-hmm. it, it really helped, honestly, our team come together at the end because we had to rely on, on our teammates to, to have our backs. Yeah, plus, and, oh, sorry, go ahead. Plus, when we saw the 21, we kind of got a little fire in us at halftime. Mm-hmm. We were talking about it and got a little upset that she had that many. Yeah, and um, how about the, uh, the ability to rebound uh, all over the floor? You, were, yeah, you guys rebounded down particularly well, I think, in the second half. Uh, and you pushed uh, what was a two rebound edge before halftime to a to a plus nine edge in the second half. I mean, how key was that uh, for you guys, particularly you guys as, as as guards and wing players, to be able to rebound down there and and help out the bigs a little bit? Um, we've been working on it a lot in practice, and coach always tells us to do that. And I think that we just came into this game with the mindset that we had to buckle down on all facets of the game, and. Um, I think a lot of us kind of took it personally and made sure that we did rebound down. Yeah. And Jason, we were talking about getting consistency, obviously, you know, offensively from, you know, your big scores, these these two included. Uh, you get your four leading scorers, I believe, ended up in, in double figures tonight. Just how much better are you guys offensively when it's all going like that for, for your, your big four offensively? Yeah, I, you know, we're going to do things that, we're going to put them in position to have success if, if we just execute. Um, you know, our, everything we do is predicated on ball movements. Um, assist to turnover ratio is always key for us. And when we're patient and taking care of the ball and picking our spots, you know, then we're, we're really efficient offensively. And we have multiple people that are any at any moment can be double figure scorers. It's just a matter of, you know, us continuing to to figure out you know that let's, let's just execute and we're going to get what we want to get and we did that much better tonight we were in a way better rhythm we weren't you know you've seen us a lot and it, it, there wasn't a sense of rushing things there wasn't a sense of forcing things there was a sense of of ball movement and easy offense and, and that's really what we always try to strive for at least yeah and and, and how much obviously uh, coming off the the losing streak, not only to get, how much important was it, not only to get a win um, to kind of break that up, but also a win over a team that you're kind of bunched in with in, in the league and, and kind of reassert yourselves a little bit here and try and get this going back forward. Yeah, it's big coming back. You know, we're, none of us were happy after last weekend. Um, you know, we, we, had we played like this, I, I think the results would have been different, mm-hmm. but, you know, we didn't, we still, you know, we dropped a game we should have, we should have won and, that's in the past. We hopefully got over that this week, and obviously the performance tonight, you know, puts us right back into the swing of things in the conference race because 
you know, it's going to be jumbled, and, and we have to start making some waves in it. And we're going to have to get rid of this tonight, and, you know, we got a huge one again tomorrow mm -hmm. with, with Metro, and the key is trying to get one up on those teams, mm -hmm. you know, in the, in the win column, and you know, that's going to be our focus.